What's up guys, this is going to be another Android Studio beginner tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to carry on from my previous list adapter uh, tutorial. I think it was uh, beginner tutorial number 8. And I'm just going to show you how to create this, this loading animation when you scroll and how to um, use best practices when you're creating a list adapter class. So in this case, when I'm, when I'm scrolling, it's actually loading the objects as I go. It's not loading all of the objects at once which is what you want because you don't want to try and load too many at once because it can slow down your main activity thread. I'm going to be carrying on from my previous tutorial like I mentioned before so if you haven't looked at that I'll put a link here and take a look at that before you jump into this one. Okay to start off we're going to create a new folder in the res directory here. Just go to right click on res go to new and directory and we're going to call this anim. This is where we're going to store the files for showing the uh, that loading animation that I was talking about right click new animation resource file and one of them is going to be called loading down anim and let's copy that paste it and this one's going to be called and there'll be another one called loading up anim so now we have those two animation files I'll do loading down first so just copy and paste this in your loading, da loading down anim file and the thing that you want to notice here is this so notice that from delta y is negative 100 percent when we go over into uh, load up and I'm, we're just going to change this to positive and that's all we're going to do for these two files so we can close these and we'll go back into our person list adapter class so like I said we're going to be using uh, what is currently the best practice for loading large amounts of data into a list view using a list adapter so we can actually just google the design pattern so we can go um, I don't know let's go view holder yeah just type view holder android and you can see the first one here is from the developer website so we click here we can see the title right away is making a list view scrolling smooth and if we scroll down this is what we're going to want to this design pattern here is what we're going to want to copy we want to hold view objects in a view holder before we actually attach them to the list view so we'll need this this uh, view holder class right here so we'll copy that go to our list adapter I'll just declare the view holder class up here so just paste it in and we don't need image view we need to change some things so this is going to be name and birthday and sex because those are our three parameters and that's all we need to do for the view holder class okay now let's go back to the developer uh, website here and we're going to copy this and go back to here and let's go just below here so i'm just going to add a little space here because we're going to need to edit this Let's delete this. We don't need the image view. We don't need the progress bar. And this is going to be name, birthday, and we'll need one more parameter, which is going to be sex. And then we need to uh, reference our text view IDs here. This will be text view two, and this will be text view three. And so we won't need the, this anymore. So we can delete all that. And let's just delete all this. That just makes it easier. And we're going to need to create a new view also, which I will declare here. I'm going to call this view result, and it's going to be responsible for showing the actual animation. And I'm going to move the view holder up here, and then just type holder here. And let's get rid of all this space. So that's all good. Now we need to actually uh, declare the animation. So we go animation equals animation utils dot load animation. And then we pass our context comma and now we need to write the logic for handling whether you're uh, scrolling up or scrolling down so I'm just gonna write that in and then I'm gonna explain it afterwards okay so there's our logic and we're gonna need to declare one more variable which as you can see last position is not defined right now so I'll de define that variable up top here just underneath our person list adapter declaration class I'm gonna set last position equal to negative one to start Oh, let's change this to private too, why not? And then scroll back down, and now I'll explain this. So this logic basically says if position is greater than last position, then we want to use the animation loading down. If that isn't true, then we use the animation loading up. So we would type result.start animation, pass the animation, and then do last position equals position. And so I have a diagram so that it hopefully will help a little bit here. I'll make it small. 
So the first time that this is called, last position will be negative one, and position will be equal to whatever the, the position is on the array, because we get, we get position from up here. So it would depend on whatever object we're at in the list view. So by the time we get down to position seven, if we then scroll down, position will then equal eight, while last position will equal seven, as I said down here. So if we scroll down, if position eight hasn't been loaded yet, we scroll down, the new position, which is this position here, will be eight, and last position will be seven. Therefore, position will be greater than last position, so it will use the, the animation loading down. The opposite will happen if we scroll up, because at that point, we scroll up, position would then go down, so like it would go down to like, you know, six, for example, whereas last position would still be seven, and then because position it would be then less than last position it would use the load animation up so if it doesn't make sense to you i mean i wouldn't worry too much about it just copy the logic and use it in your apps now at the bottom here we need to actually set the text to the parameters so it's going to be very similar to how we did it last time last time we would do uh like whatever the text view was so it would be like text view name dot set text and then type whatever the parameter was but in this case, we're going to be using the view holder. So we do view holder, or I guess it's called holder, holder dot name, because if we go back up to the view holder class, name is a parameter and we have birthday and sex. So to set the name, we do holder dot name, and then set text, and then we pass the text. Person, or actually we don't even need to use person, we just use name. And then do the same thing for birthday and the same thing for sex. Now we can see this red here, um, result was not initialized. So we can just go down here and go result equal convert view. If we run this, it will work and everything everything looks like it's good. But we see here still we get this uh, unconditional layout inflation from view adapter. Should use view holder pattern. Basically what it's telling us we need to do is store the objects ahead of time. Like store a few ahead of time and then load them as you go. And we can do that by just writing a little bit more logic here. So we can go if convert view equals null, if it hasn't been, if that position hasn't been visited yet, we can grab all this and throw it inside here. And then we go else, we go view, or we go holder equals view holder convert view dot set tag. Whoops, I mean uh, get tag. A tag is just a way to store a view in memory. So here the tag will, the view will get stored in memory, and then here the view will get referenced from memory. Let me just say result equals convert view. And we can see that that warning goes away. So this, this is the best practice design pattern for if you want to display anything in a list view, because this way you're only loading a few at a time rather than the whole list of objects. So let's press play and take a look at our list view. So we can see here now, like even even just scrolling, it feels faster, and um, this will be good for you know any number of objects in your list view. So that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully that was helpful. I'm pretty sure I went over everything for the best practices for using list adapters and displaying information in list views. I think my next tutorial will probably be displaying images in these list views. So using a list adapter to then set an image to your list view. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any, any ideas for other beginner topics that you want me to go over, uh, just let me know. I got a big list that I'm planning on going over, but if, if you guys want anything particular sooner, you can just let me know. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.